Hello everybody, welcome back to a another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to detect which biome the player is in in Minecraft Java Edition. So if you like Minecraft videos like this one, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials like this one. And so what this means is that, for example, currently we are on a beach biome, but once we enter this mangrove swamp behind me, we suddenly get blindness and also slowness. So not only have we detected that I have entered this new biome, but we can also give the player any effects or show up with a title on the screen or whatever. And so we'll go through a couple of examples in this video. But let's head out of this mango swamp now and we'll see that our blindness clears and our slowness as well. And so to understand how this is done, we'll walk over to these command blocks over here because they are very important. Now, before we go through the commands, these commands will only work in Minecraft 1.19.3 or versions above that and currently only on Java edition. If this gets added to better condition as well, of course, I'll leave a pinned comment down below showing you the command in better condition. But for now, this is only possible in Java edition since this command was added in snapshot 22w46. A. So make sure you keep it in mind when you want to use these commands. So on the left here, we have a repeating command block that is set to always active. And the command we have in here is an execute command. Now, what we do here is that we execute the command at the nearest player. So this will be the player you're targeting and the player that will get the effects if they go into a specific biome, if you use this command. You can also set this to a random player by using add R or to a specific player name. That is also possible. If you have any spaces in your name, then make sure you add some quotation marks on both ends of your username. And you can also customize which player you're targeting by using the square brackets with MPT text, such as, for example, the distance to the command block. So we only execute this command if the biome where the player is at, so that is these coordinates over here, if that is equal to a mangrove swamp, that is what this first part means, we execute if the player is in a mangrove swamp. And if that is the case, then we do this second part, we run the effect command and we give the nearest player blindness for two seconds with a zero amplifier. You can also hide the particles by putting true behind here as well, that's also possible. And so if you want a more detailed explanation of the effect command, I've made a full tutorial on it. Link to it is in the top right of your screen. And so this two seconds is just to ensure that we don't get any weird flickering on the screen. And also it's chosen low such that if you leave the biome again, then the effect immediately gets removed. What you can also do is add a second command that is similar to this one, but then say execute at at P unless the biome is a mangrove swamp. And if that's the case, you can run the effect clear at P blindness. Now we can remove those numbers at the end like this, done. And now we'll see if we enter the mangrove swamp and leave again, we immediately get rid of the blindness as you can see there. So that's maybe a nicer effect. Then you will notice on the screen, we have a whole lot of messages spamming the chat. If you don't want to get those, all you need to do is do the game rule, command block output and set that one to false. So now if we enter this biome, we don't get any of that spamming in the chat. All right, and then the second command block over here is very similar to the first one, but instead of giving us blindness, it gives us slowness level two for two seconds. And again, for this one, we can also add a second command block that removes the effect if we leave the mangrove swamp by changing if to unless and give to clear. So if to unless and here give to clear, press done. So now this will work quite seamlessly where we enter the mangrove swamp, we get the effects, we leave the mangrove swamp and immediately get rid of the effects. And so this works for the entire biome and for any biome that's within the render distance of these command blocks. Now, if you want to make sure that these command blocks stay loaded, I would suggest putting them in the spawn chunks of your world since they will then always get loaded. Or you can say force load add and then add a square around these command blocks to make sure that they are all added to this force load command. Something like this, press enter. And so these two chunks have now been force loaded where these command blocks are. And so this means that the commands will work throughout your entire world. Even if we teleport super far away to a different mangrove swamp, we should still see that this command works and adds a whole lot of darkness and blindness to the mangrove swamp. And so that's basically how this works with, for example, the effect command. And so the commands I use in this video will also be in the description down below. So you can copy them from there. You don't have to write them out yourself. However, you might need to alter them for your needs. But I will show you a second example where you can test for the biome the player is in. So let's do that right now. All right, so here we go. We're in a bamboo jungle and we have some command blocks right over here. And so once we actually enter this bamboo jungle, you will see bamboo jungle is the biome you're in as you already saw from the thumbnail. And so along with this, what we can do as well is add a little gif command like this. And so this means that every time you enter a bamboo jungle, you'll get a diamond. 
like this, we enter again, you get another diamond and another one, there we go. And so this means that instead of the previous example where it just activates the command continuously, you just activate it once every time you enter that specific biome, as you can see there. So we'll try again, there we go, and it works every single time. Again, you can force load this area to make this work for any bamboo jungle, but usually it will probably be enough to do this quite close to the biome. So what is happening here? So we have here a repeating always active command block that has the regular execute commands we can execute at the player if the biome that they're in is equal to a bamboo jungle, and that is this entire command. And so if it is true, then this comparator will activate, as we'll see here, once we enter the biome, the comparator activates and it activates the three command blocks behind it. And once we leave the biome again, the comparator turns off, so it can turn back on again once we enter the biome again. And so then here, this is the title command. If you want to know how to use the title command, I've made a video on that link to it is in the top right of your screen. So we basically just play the title in red, bold, and not in italics. And the subtitle over here is the biome you're in in aqua, bold, and not in italics. And then here's the gif command we just added at the end. And so another addition you can add to this is maybe a redstone torch over here. And then on top of this, add another command block. And this time we can say slash clear at B, let's say diamond sword like this. And I will change this one to diamond sword as well. And so what this will mean is that once we enter the bamboo jungle like this, we get a diamond sword. But then once we leave the bamboo jungle, we get rid of the diamond sword again. So how this works is that if we enter the biome, the comparator activates that command block at the far end, like this, giving us a diamond sword. This also turns off the redstone torch. And then once we leave the biome again, the comparator turns off, the redstone torch turns on and activates this top command block like this and clears the item from us. And so in this way, you can make it such that in specific biomes, you have specific weapons or armor for your player of, for example, a custom map or whatever you are building. And so I think this works quite well since it immediately removes the sword when you leave the biome. And so you can try to be on the edge of the biome to make it such as you get a duplicate sword or something like that, but that does not seem to be working. And so there we go. That is how to detect which biome the player is in using just a single command or, well, a couple of them in this case. And as I mentioned before, I will leave all the commands I show in this video in the description down below, so you can copy them from there if you want to. Then if you have any more questions about these commands, then please let me know about them in the comments down below. And then I will try to help you out. Or maybe there are some other commenters that know how to solve your problem. But there we go. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please make sure you leave a like. And subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials like this one in the future. I want to thank my tier 3 member, the Smigelaar. Thank you for becoming a tier 3 member. But anyway, there we go. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.